a long, long time ago. But this exact weekend, all of our ancestors, our great, 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 great grandparents, were all camped out right at the foot of Mount Sinai. And by the way, I'm not saying they all love camping. I'm not <laughs> pretending that. So you would have to agree with me that the past two months, they were unprecedented. I mean, just two months earlier, everyone was a slave in Egypt. And then so many miracles, 10 plagues, crossing the Red Sea, and now here at the foot of Mount Sinai, waiting to journey on to the promised land. Now, Moses had just gone up Mount Sinai to talk with God, and all the rest of the Israelites were down at the base, you know, eating manna. I hear it tasted like cheesecake. <laughs> Moses comes down the mountain. Everyone is so excited. Moses says, I want you all to know that God wants to give you the greatest gift of all, the Torah. God wants to give you this gift to show you how much God loves you. Well, the people were ecstatic. Who doesn't want a big gift? But Moses said, wait, there's something you need to know. God wants a sign, a sign that you know how much God loves you. The people were like, what? You mean like, we love you, God. We know you love us. Moses was like, no, you're going to need to come up with something a little bit bigger than that. This is a big gift. Well, all of the elders, the boobies and the zadies, they all got together. They stroked their long beards and they scratched their heads trying to figure out what gift, what, what sign could, could they possibly make to show God that they knew how much God loved them. And then they came up with a great idea. They said, we know exactly what to do. God's going to give us this Torah. We will build a beautiful place to keep it, an, an ark. Why, we'll build a whole sanctuary, a beautiful sanctuary to keep it in. We'll even, we'll make up songs to sing about the sanctuary and how beautiful it is. Moses was like, that's great, and headed back up the mountain to talk to God, to tell God this would be the sign. All the elders were so excited. They were waiting and waiting. And then Moses came back down the mountain and said, oh, God wants a different sign. God said that was a great sign. It's a really beautiful sign. He loves the sanctuary. God thinks it's a great sign. But can you come up maybe with something else to show God that you get it, that God really loves you? The elders were like, oi. Well, the grown-ups all got together and they said, look, we have a great idea. This gift, the Torah, we're not just going to leave it inside the ark in the sanctuary. We'll do all the things that the Torah tells us to do. We'll be generous. We'll, we'll be kind. We'll give tzedakah. We'll form a tikkun olam committee. We'll do all these wonderful things, our beautiful acts. That will be the sign that we know God loves us. Moses said, that's fantastic. Beautiful sanctuary, beautiful acts. Went back up the mountain to talk to God. All the people ate more manna. Moses came back down the manna, the mountain. <laughs> it's nerve wracking speaking in this sanctuary. <laughs> Moses came back down the mountain and said, you're not going to like this one. God wants a different sign. Ah, the elders were like, i gotten you. Come on. The grown-ups were, well, I can't really say in this room what the grown-ups said, but you all know the kinds of things the grown-ups said. They didn't know what to do. They're stroking their beards. They're scratching their heads. They're forming committees. They can't figure it out. But the good news is all of the children said, we have the perfect sign. We're going to take that Torah out of the beautiful sanctuary, and we're going to do all of the things, the kind acts that the Torah teaches. And then when we grow up, 
we're going to teach our children all of the things that the Torah says, and we're going to build more beautiful sanctuaries. We'll come together to pray. We'll serve on student councils. We'll volunteer in mitzvah corps. We'll come to mitzvah day and work hard. And then when we get older, we'll teach our children the words of the Torah too, so that they can know them. And all the elders and all the grown-ups said, that's it, that's the sign. Our beautiful children will be the sign that we know God loves us. Moses went back up the mountain and, well, you can read it for yourselves in the Torah, folks. That's what it says to this day. When we say the prayer, Vehafta, we can see that right after it says, set these words upon your heart, it says, teach them faithfully to your children. And so all of you children here tonight, you need to know something important. You are the sign that God loves us.